Okay, now let us talk the movie End of Days, starring Harna Soschniger as Jericho Kane, Robin Tony as Christine York, Gabriel Bryan as Lucifer, Kevin Pollock, directed by Peter Hyams, November 1999. Now, please go and watch this movie and use critical thinking and ask questions what is hollywood trying to tell us are they trying to tell us what will happen during the end times let us get into this at the start of the movie we notice that there's a child that is born a female child now they take this child to the basement area of the hospital where they perform a satanic ritual the child is given blood from a snake now the blood rep the snake represents lucifer now the character played by miriam margulies which is mabel seems to be placed in this child life very convenient because she's there from birth and she's also there when the child loses both parents now we need to understand that luciferian agents are all around and they will be placed in particular people's life and they come in the form of spouses or friends or guardian and they can conveniently take the parents out so that they can get guardianship of whatever target it is also in the hospital notice the staff they seems to be a part of this luciferian agenda what is hollywood trying to tell us are they trying to tell us that there are hospitals that have underground basement temper room that they are using to initiate people's children and give them blood right because the staff seem to be a part of this luciferian agenda right have a look and use critical thinking now this child christine york seems to be having dreams and visions reoccurring and quite vivid and they let her know that he's coming and he's coming to have sex with you they are not mincing their words no this invisible world that is around humanity right these entities are communicating with humans through visions and dreams and the movie is giving us the clues it is telling us and we need to pay attention right so don't be dismissive of our families and children when they come to us and discuss dreams with us don't think that they're having a mental breakdown let's keep it moving the entity lucifer is in the scene now and he wants a body to possess and he possesses a wall street banker quite ironic so what are they telling us are they telling us that the wall street bankers are satanic what is this movie trying to tell us but most importantly we have spoken about keeping our vibrations high and we need to be mindful of the food we eat the entertainment that we take part in and the people that we lay with all of that can have a negative impact on our vibration so lucifer occupies a wall street banker and after that he sexually assaults a female so they are very hungry for sex these entities love sex and the movie is showing it to you right let us keep it moving in the movie the character jericho kane and christine york get to a pastor and the pastor explains to them what is happening now the pastor let her know that this entity needs to have sex with her in order to open the gates of hell now people remember the sons of god were on earth having relation with the daughters of men and they created a species of nephilim remember that case in the bible no these entities are open to get back out and to pick up what they left off the mixing and mingling of the seed so they are open that when they are released because humanity is busy trying to open the gates of hell they can possess humans and those that don't get to possess human will possess robots in the form of artificial intelligence people open your eyes this movie is really giving it to you right and they're open to mix and mingle the seed again you have to notice as well the police force in the movie and how they work to achieve lucifer's agenda what is hollywood trying to tell us that the police force 
that some members are part of Luciferian organization, open your eyes. Also, there is an underground temple that Lucifer manages to take the girl to, where there's chanting and they're trying to have sex with this girl. What is Hollywood trying to tell us? Now, who says romance is dead, having sex with a room full of people? Right? But these entities need to realize that humanity and females this century don't take it easy with sexual offenses and they actually cut men bits off and i hope they're well informed about that one because they are trying to open the stargate to let these entities out so that they can possess mankind so that they can pick up where they left off but they need to be mindful we also have a scene where the lucifer character is trying to convince jericho cain to be a part of his his team and he declined because he has a mind of his own and he's very stubborn. So he rightfully declined the devil's um, advances. Because the devil let him know that he can give him back his dead wife that the Most High have taken away from him. Pay attention to that, that dialogue in the movie. It's mighty interesting. Right? So people... Go and watch this movie, use critical thinking and know that Hollywood is showing you their hand. They have always done so. And this movie, true and true, is telling you it's about sex. It's about sex from the start in Genesis and it is about sex in the end. It's always about sex and genetics. And these people are trying to bring back these entities. They are trying to let them out. They are taking... um instructions from them they are accepting technology from them and they are using it against mankind now remember this movie was made in 1999 a lot have happened since and this movie is showing us a lot from 1999 so let us pray about this and ask the most high for guidance and protection in these dark and wicked days ahead